a list number. Can I get somebody to help me with my slides? Jenny, Paige? Need some support with the slides. Once you've entered a list number, you'll see a list of addresses. Black. 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 All right, y'all. We're almost finished here. Um, we're, gonna, we're just going to walk through what's happening on your screens. For those of you that are still working on getting a list number, that's fine. Keep working with your coaches. All right, so on your screen, you'll see addresses. These addresses are the addresses of people who are going to be on our list. Tap one of the addresses. And on the next screen, Next screen, next slide. Uh-oh, our slides are out of order. So let's go back, Jenny. Okay. Here you see, it says team. Multiple people are on the list. Uh, so some of you have the same list number. This just lets you know that you're, you're working on a team. Other people are, are working to canvas this list with you. They're working to knock on doors with you. Um, so that's all this means. Next slide. On the top right hand corner of your, of your screen, pr please press the three bars. It's just three lines. You don't see it on this slide, but press the three lines. Your coaches can show you and you'll get a blue pop-up window that looks like this. This blue pop-up window is your menu. I'm gonna give your coaches some time to walk through the menu with you to make sure that you are able to access the menu. Coaches, how are we doing with accessing the menu? All right. Ruth, can you dim the lights? All right, we're moving on. Close your blue menu just by tapping on the bars again. And go back to your list and tap one of your addresses. When you tap the address, you should see the name of the person that you're trying to contact. Now, if in the house, you may see that there's more than one voter. So your list may have two people at one household. Tap the name of one of those voters. Once you tap that, the script will pop up. And you have a minute to read through the script. And as you go through the script, there are different questions in the script. If you tap the questions in the script, you'll get to a list. I'm gonna come along to advance these slides. Once you tap the questions, at the very top, you'll see a 
bar that you're able to slide, were you able to talk to this person? And you can choose yes or no by sliding that. Your table captains are going to go through this with you and they're going to practice as well. But when you choose yes, you'll be able to see that one of those things, some of those answer bars will pop up for you. Thank you so much. You all say thanks to the tech people. And you're able to select the appropriate reason. I'm going to give your coaches a chance to play along with the script for you for a little while. And we're going to turn the lights back on. Ruth, can you turn those lights back on for us? How are we doing with minivan? Are folks getting the hang of it? All right, I see everybody engaged and talking. going over this, um, but as you go through, you'll see that once you've talked to somebody and you've entered a response, it'll show up next to their name. So MV means that they moved. This person entered a response that they moved. If you do not see that on your list, that means you didn't enter the information. It's really important after each household that you sync your data, and by syncing your data, You'll go up here to this round arrow, and that just means that it's processing, it's in the system, we know who's supporting Andrew and we know who's not. This helps us so that we're able to go back to folks when the election starts, 
When it's time to vote, October 2nd is when people can start submitting their ballots. Um, so we can go back to them and talk to them and tell them, hey, you said you were supporting Andrew. Have you voted yet? We have a table at table one. We have a question about when to sink. After you go to each door, you should be syncing the data. So every door that you go to, once you knock and enter a response, you should be syncing the data. We have real short-term memory, so want to make sure that you sync that data immediately, so that we're not misidentifying folks. And anybody that you think is who's not home, we're able to keep going back and keep talking to them until we get a response. All right, we're moving on to talk about the script. You all had a little bit of time to look at the script. What did you notice about the script? It's long, that's right. You do not get a long time with people at the door. People are like, number one, they're like, who this? For our voters especially, these are people who don't vote regularly. They looking at the door like, who this? What you want? You got less than a minute when you get there. So when you get there, you kind of walk up and you say quickly, hi, I'm out knocking on doors with Color of Change Pack. I'm here for Andrew Gillum. We're supporting Andrew Gillum. Are you supporting Andrew Gillum? Now luckily, the people that we're talking to are on our list are mostly black people. And so you got a lot of folks that are like, yeah, of course. Then you follow up and you ask them, do you know about Amendment 4? When you say, do you know about Amendment 4, a lot of folks will be like, huh? What's that? Is that a good thing? Tell me about it. Then they want to know more. I had a, a guy at the door the other day said, what do you think? I said, I can tell you about Amendment 4, but it's up to you to make up your mind about what you think about it. Um, and so I marked him as an undecided because he did not know about it. So when you look at this script, make sure that we're asking the key questions. Are you supporting Andrew Gillum? We also have a question in there for Bill Nelson, who's our senator. And so, are you supporting Bill Nelson? We identify them, and are you supporting Amendment 4? It's real simple, you don't have to get too long-winded. Some people will actually want to talk to you, they want to hear why you're out there supporting it, what you think, what you believe, but most people just want to answer your question and go back to what they were doing. If you want to go back and check and make sure that you you did this properly, and you don't want to see the script every time you go into a voter, you can choose to not have the script in there. You can show, you can say, I don't need the script every time I go there. And you can just choose the answers. So this is without the script view. Just says, where do they stand on Amendment 4? Do they support Andrew Gillum? Do they support Bill Nelson? Some people will tell you, how'd you get involved with this? And I want to do this too. Those are the people that we, it says, it's a question that says Volunteer 2018 Florida, and you can mark them as well. And then people who want to vote by mail, if you notice they're a bit older and might want to vote by mail, you can ask them that question, do you want to vote by mail? Um, and then mark whether or not they want to vote by mail. We have some forms that you can take out with you to make sure if they want to vote by mail. All right, y'all, your table captains have gone over the most, most of the rest of this. We are going to quickly go to a few more teams to hear our team ch chant. Black. Joy. Black. Joy. Black. Joy. All right, teams. Which tables want to share their team chant that haven't had a chance to share their team chant? Oh, we got shy tables. Table captains. Who hasn't gone? Perfect. We're going right back here. Kyle, are y'all ready? Table 12. Y'all give it up for Table 12. They're a little shy. I need y'all to do better than that. They're a little shy, I said. Give it up for Table 12. Thank you. All right, Kyle. The Impactors is our team name. 
again, here's our team chant. Won't he do it? He said he would. Won't he do it? He said he would. Won't he do it? He said he would. Bring it home, impact That's a voice, y'all. I don't have to anything to match that. I won't even try that. All right, what other table has not had a chance to share their team chant? Who didn't go? All right, I see some hands up at the back. Okay, we're coming for you. Table 14, can y'all give it up for table 14? What's your team name? Team G-I-D, which means get it done. All right, team get it done. Let's go team, get it done. What y'all doing? Work with it, work with it. Give us the beat, Taylor. E. Get it done. Get it done. All right, keep it as simple. Who's up next? All right. We are a squad. Hope. H O P E. Ho, 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 ho. Thank you very much. Come through table 15 with all that hope. All right. Who's ready to sprinkle us with a little more magic, a little more black joy? Table two, table two, okay, we're coming. Don't worry, we're coming back to you, table five. Table two. Yeti said we're ready. Come on, Yeti. Um, team name is Kojo. Our slogan okay. is... Ain't no Y'all ready? Okay. Fly like an eagle okay. to the sea. Fly like an eagle 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 to the sea. Fly like an eagle